Jeremy with the frogfish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how well you can see with little pads it's poking out. What's today's date, Jeremy? May 22nd? 22nd. Yeah, 22nd. Water temp is 66 degrees. Uh, we know these fish are in the tail end of their spawn. I don't know that was a, did you, I don't know, did you look to see if it had uh, any rub on it? Was that a, no, I missed it, I'm sorry. We should have, we could look to see every fish catch, see if there's a, any markings that they've been spawning on. It's either pre-spawn, post-spawn, or spawn. If we can catch all three today. Well, it is May 22nd, 2022. And like all spring, it's cold again. That's right, we got a cold front that rolled in today. High at 54 degrees. Now we had most of this week in the 80s. The week before that was mostly in the 80s. So, hey, it is what it is. Now, most of our fish are done spawning in the channel. So, there's a couple straggles here and there. Main lake fish are starting to spawn a little bit. Actually, I should say, it's that it start. They're well into it. And I'm saying we are at the tail end of that spawn. Now we're in the pads in the rain. Jeremy got that frog fish. I think now we're pretty much the same thing. And now we got them on a buzz bait. <laughs> yeah, we picked nothing but great weather here. He ate that just like you want. You see, he came from the pads. And we're looking at him. He is, he just looks like an eager male. So he may not have spawned at all. Or he might be a post spawn deal. But here we are in two foot of water or less. Top water action. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah. We got a, you know what I forgot? You know what this is? This is a 9K Lee Lewis buzz bait. Come here, come here. Now then, that, that sucker came right from that patch of pads. Okay, well, that's the kind of stuff we really like to see when we're at the what we'll call tail end of the spawn. Now we'll just see if we can't catch ourselves a jumbo. Today, dude, we got you on camera. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, Manel! <laughs> Holy cow! You got a tank! You got a tank! Oh my gosh! Look how beautiful that fish is! <laughs> Come on, show me how it's done like a pro, Manel. You know? Come on! Oh, you about got him! There you got him! Ooh, hey, you know what else is even nicer? Is that jersey of yours? <laughs> yeah, uh huh. Woo, nice job. Jeremy, you flip that jig up against some wood? Don't throw them back yet. I want to get a picture of it. Cool. Throw them up against some wood, did you? That was up against the wood, shallow. Man, just kind of what we've been talking about all day, man. Your instincts were right. Well, shoot. Let's go. Yes, yes, you got another big one. You got another good one. Get yeah. Uh-huh. What do you say, Jeremy? Woo. Yeah! Is that good? Is that a good luck jersey you got there? Oh, that's awesome. Woo! Right there. <laughs> Tell me the story on that one, buddy. Man, same thing, man. We're just shallow, throwing up jigs, light, lighter jigs, back in the channel. We're throwing towards structure, throwing towards weeds. I mean, they're kind of like right where you would think they would be, you know? It's, this one is probably a heavier fish, a little bit fatter. Look, yeah, definitely fatter stomach. Very healthy and you look, fish. He's a definite, yes. yeah, look he's done. Right yeah, yes. yeah, he's, yeah. whew. That is beautiful, Jerry. Nice. That jig Jerry was using was this one right here. It's a half ounce flipping jig by 9k elite lures uh, I tell you the truth I'm not even sure what trailer he had on uh, I know this is the one he's using because he cut it off and gave it to me I had to let him off he had to get off the water a little earlier so he cut that off and gave it to me half ounce and I want to say that's green pumpkin with uh, well it's beautiful I'm gonna see if I can't figure out what color scheme that is but that's what he was doing he was flipping it up along a fairly steep break right on the shoreline with some wood and some scattered weeds as well and that was really the best deal we had found all day best quality and really the best concentration oh 
Jeremy. That's, that's good as the other one. Person's not a keeper. <laughs> that's a keeper, alright. Best action we've had all day long. As, in, as a keeper, yep. all day long in this channel. Really a quality, at least, throwing that jig. So we're talking about different baits to use in a late spawn deal. And we've given you a variety of baits to use today. Jig action. Now Jeremy's just throwing it to the seawall. Got a little sunshine on it. That look like a no, he doesn't look like he's got any markings at all, does he? Nope. Hey, I saw your rod bouncing on that thing. That's, that's not a bad fish either. Jeez, so please. You are a machine. <laughs> Every once in a while. Jigging Vanel. Jigging Jeremy. Nice chunky finesse worm is a fantastic option when you're dealing in this time of year. Finesse worm, wacky rig it. I like to get mine by Butcher's Baits. There's a promo code for those and down below. In fact, everything we're using today will be listed in the link below. We're just fishing the outside edge of these lily pads again. That does not look like any size of spawning, so I think we got a lot of I think we got pre I think we got all three stages going on pre spawn, spawn, and post spawn. baits to use in late spawn and I don't know Jeremy can I catching a whole bunch of things here you can see just fish along these reeds and a tube bait with a bite me tackle jig head in it promo code for those below uh, with quarter ounce just, just cast along the edge here we're seeing some fish we're seeing a bunch of old beds and probably are a few fish on bed still but we're we're just fan casting right now to tell you how much money I've won on tubes over the years. How well you can tell the white color there on the bottom of these reeds. That's the kind of stuff that fish will hold on to. I'm gonna throw this like this. Like this. bug over here. Did you have one there? Get him! Oh, we got a devil! What might be bigger? Oh, yeah. Yeah, find oh, the no. bigger, find the <laughs> bigger. There's another one. Just a buck, just a buck male. Now, I, I'd go through and tell you exactly how I rig up my drop shot, especially when bed fishing, but I got quite a few videos like that already out there. So uh, I'll let you, I'll put some links below to those videos and you can check them out. Pretty nice male. Garden and you can see exactly what I'm fishing at. Weeds right there, uh, some reeds and actually arrowheads and pads. And about a foot and a half of water, I bet. And he was ultra aggressive going for that fish. Yep, there's some bed fish out here still. This one's about two foot deep, right up a little clump of lily pads. Let's show them to you. Right there, that little clump held that fish on pads. And he, I saw him from a distance and I cast, actually I got close and he swam away and then I just kind of circled around and cast up there and he ate it immediately. So he is a, he's an aggressive fish and probably everything else. So, 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 you late spawn, you just want to keep all your options open. 
there's really it's almost like junk fishing in the fall anything can work and you might catch one doing one thing and two doing another thing and seven doing another thing but you got to keep all your options open i appreciate you tuning in until the next